coming for you. He's coming oh, for you. He's coming for mama. you. Stand on one leg now. Oh, that is not a friend of mine. Mike, you guys ready to go? Yes, thank you. Skipper Mike takes visitors on a 90 min motor around Miami, but, and I feel it's my duty to warn you in advance, he does sometimes use the word sexy. And with these head turns, who the heck can blame the guy? So where are we now, Mike? This is downtown Miami. This is the sexiest place on the planet. People come here to have a good time and let loose and have fun. Sounds like hell. Miami's deep water harbor stations many of the world's utterly pointless yachts. If I wanted to put an offer in for this boat, what would I have to start the bidding at? Pretty safely be over $100 million. $100 million. Owners of yachts like that actually pay around $50,000 per night to be parked there. 50 grand a night parking. That is galling. Can you do that by text or do you have to have the change? Our thought stomachs duly fed, we throttle on to check some of the land-based success on one of Miami's multitude of man-made islands. And I use the word people twice in a sentence. The people happy with people just looking into their houses from the vantage point of a boat? You buy a house on an island, it's called Star Island. Yes. People are probably going to be coming by your house. I, to be honest, I feel like they're invading our privacy. I feel a bit observed, yeah? This is the biggest property on Star Island. Each one of these palm trees costs $10,000. Shut the no. door. These are South African date palms. They all stopped growing at the same height. He wanted this effect. You're out of he your mind. He paid 10 grand to get palm trees that grow to the same height. But you could cut them in all uniform. Whose house is this, Mike? This white one used to belong to Julio Iglesias. Look at the state of those palm trees. Sort your palm trees out, mate. I'm embarrassed for you. This is the house of P. Diddy, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's normally when the Diddy. cushions are out right here, that's how we know that Diddy's in town. Did he put the cushions out? Was that Diddy asking somebody else to put the cushions out? Did, did, did Diddy done it, or was it somebody else that done it, and then Diddy thanked him for it? I can see you in a house like that. Yes. Breaking in. Yeah. Trying to take what I can under cover of night. <laughs> Which one would you recommend for somebody who's had quite a bad trauma, a neck injury? I would do something uh, very high in anti-inflammatory. We sell about like 100 of these a day. Does he rub that onto me? No, you, it's the shot. So you oh, drink, drink it up. I just inject that straight into the neck. That's it. <laughs> Thank you very much. I do suggest okay. not thinking too much about it so wow. that you don't have time to... Don't think to too much about yeah, it. Yeah, just, just shoot drink it up like a possible. shot. Exactly, like okay. tequila. Okay. Cheers. What are we on? Cheers. Spring break? One, two, three. That's too spicy. That is beautiful. It's very it's great, spicy. Right? Honestly. How's your oh. neck? One, it's still I've not seen fluid like it's that. It's still a whiplash, but it's better. I was going three miles an hour. We scoop out the fridge like oily melon farmers. I'm having these two. And can I take one of those one shots of those with me? Shots, of course. 44.94. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Well, now I will. Pockets jammed with juice, we chip. They could also uh, go into pies to yeah. supplement these. We buckle up and put pedal to the metal. But sadly, I've left my The Very Best of Phil Collins CD in the hotel. What do you make of this convertible experience? Do you like it? From a UV perspective, yeah. a disaster. Have you creamed up? I'm fully creamed up. That is a nice skyline. Yes. Don't you look at it. You watch no. the road, OK? Over there, they've got the docks with some nice big cranes for heavy lifting. Don't you look. You no. look at the road. I'm 10 and 2 uh, all the way. The other thing is you're driving on the left-hand side again. It's one way. It's a motorway. I mean, it's a good job I'm not of a nervous disposition. You're in very safe hands. I'm just sort of telling myself that nothing bad can happen because we're on TV. And yes, it could. They couldn't show that. Oh, they wouldn't show it. But they'd edit what footage they had and try and parcel it as some kind of shoddy tribute. I conclude this driving masterclass with an elegant slide into one of the many parking bays of Coopertown, instantly taking its population to double figures. It's all right. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Do you want to roll over the front of the bonnet? <laughs> While at the service station for a mid-trip Pop-Tart, we made a solemn blood pact to relive Gentle Ben by taking a ride on one of the airboats Jesse Kennan and his family have been piloting here since 1945. Let's go see what we can find in the Everglades. It's the largest subtropical wilderness left in this country. 
that trumps yeah. making great again. The Everglades is a vast, slow-moving river which covers over 2,000 square miles. It's often only a few inches deep, so flat-bottomed airboats are a flipping boon. It's lovely to be at one with nature. I don't know if the wildlife even knows we're here. After this moment of intimacy, Rod fatally betrays my trust and the no surprises subclause of our blood net. <laughs> the trip will never be the same again. This is eerie now. What would make a gator attack me? Basically, you'd have to aggravate him more than anything. Because a lot of people just don't take to me, Jesse. A lot of people just don't like me. I think, to be honest, part of the problem is that you're wearing real flamingo shoes. I am. I am dressed like a flamingo. One right in front of you on the left. Same Here we go. He's coming for you. He's coming, oh, He's coming for mama. you. Stand on one leg now. Oh, Stand on one leg now. That is not a friend of mine. Rod, Rod, Rod. Oh, God. Flamingo. Over here, flamingo. Oh, yeah. They speak flamingo. English. Show your shoes. They're circling us, Jesse. Yeah. What do they want from us, Jesse? We're, in, we're actually in their dining room, so we're just curious to see what's moving around in Maybe their Maybe we should go through room. to the lounge. Yeah. Oh. Hey, they're one of the very few animals that hasn't went through very much evolutionary change since the age of the dinosaur. They're much more beautiful than I was expecting. <laughs> you know what? I'd say their beauty takes second place to their absolute terrifying nature. Yeah. <laughs>